Hello and welcome to a video review of the Dehancer 7 Open Effects filter for Blackmagic Design's DaVinci Resolve video editing software. We will explore the latest features of this plugin by Dehancer for color grading and film effect application within version 18.1.4 of DaVinci Resolve. Version 16 of DaVinci Resolve is a minimum requirement for the installation of this Dehancer filter. Upon installation, the Dehancer filter can be found inside DaVinci Resolve's Effects menu under Open Effects. Click and drag one of these filters to your video clip on the project's edit timeline. Once the relevant edit is selected, you may find the properties for this added filter under Inspector and Effects, similar to version 4 which was previously reviewed on this channel. A link to this review, which also contains instructions on how to use the filter, can be found in this video's description box. The first of the new features of this Dehanta plugin suite update that we will look at are the profile options for the following film simulation categories. Film, Print, Film Grain, Halation, Bloom, Film Damage, Film Breath, and gate weave. Unlike in the previously reviewed version 4, the latest Dehancer filter provides preset effects to be applied to your raw video footage that resemble the appearances of recorded visuals from many existing film and camera formats. These presets allow DaVinci Resolve users to make adjustments to their media files efficiently, whilst customization settings are also implemented into each of the profile menus, enabling the user to adopt a unique and flexible approach to each of these effect developments. Profile settings can be hidden from previews and removed from the final rendered videos by unticking the enabled box under the relevant effect category. The second new tool available with the Dehancer OFX7 filter is the Film Damage Property panel, enabling DaVinci Resolve users to depict their visual media files in an old and classical method featuring scratches, hairs and dust with different appearances and animation irregularities to those in the DaVinci Resolve default Film Damage filter available in the Open Effects menu under Effects. Using the custom settings, the DaVinci Resolve user can strengthen or reduce the presence of dust, hairs and scratches by using the Amount property. The size of each of these damage elements can also be adjusted by using the Scale property. Reducing the size balance value will result in smaller damage elements appearing on screen, and less of the bigger damage segments. To adopt a balanced mix of both light and dark damage segments in your footage, it is recommended to have a mid value applied to the white black setting. Applying a high value to global period will see these scratches positioned more unevenly across your film footage. The transparency of your film damage can be adjusted with global opacity, whilst the global chromacity setting acts as a saturation control of the damage. The higher the value for this property, the more intense the colour applied to the damage elements will be. A cool ice light blue hue will be applied to the brighter and highlighted areas of your damaged segments in particular. A low global chromacity setting on the other hand will result in a grayscale appearance being applied to your film damage. One issue that I personally had with the installation and initial running of DaVinci Resolve with this new Dehance filter was that once this was dragged to a video clip, the graphical processing unit settings required adjustments so that the Dehance effects could be applied within the software and could be seen on preview. In order to resolve this issue, I went to Preferences under the DaVinci Resolve menu option and ticked the Auto box next to GPU Processing Mode in the Memory and GPU window. The filter then became usable after the DaVinci Resolve software was restarted. A link to the Dehancer website and also a code that you can use on the Dehancer store page to make a discounted purchase of a 3 month, 6 month, 1 year or lifetime access of the Dehancer DaVinci Resolve filter can be found in this video's description box. I hope that you find this useful. Thank you for watching.